Okay, so I've been working on the second project and it is how to build a snowman and I made two levels, one for students that are not very good at manipulating uh, the slides and then others for the students that are better at manipulating the slides. So you'll find the directions here. I will put the video directions as well here and let's go and I'm going to duplicate this and what we're going to do first is they will have to place the sticks uh, and they just move them in. This is basically the same as the popsicle sticks that they would do with glue but I've just moved it digitally since a lot of us are remote and they may not be able to get a hold of these right now and this will give them something to do to spend their time and it's actually a very good project that can bring out either speaking or writing and it's all layered for you so you don't have to worry about if they're going to um, overlap so it takes a little time I would use the arrows it's much easier than dragging because the arrows, that way I'm not touching anything else. And I started with the background. And once we've gotten to that part, then I would move next to the hat. And I'm really finding Working digitally can be a lot of fun. And sometimes it's a little bit hard to do this, but let them do them one by one. I know they can grab them all, they can put it together, grab it all. But if they do it one by one, it's kind of just like they were doing the popsicle sticks and they're manipulating them in class. Uh, they can work as a team, pair work, uh, as a group. Um, and it just is a lot of fun to see what they can create. Um, and to get them speaking as well is fantastic. This is working really well with my um, ESL students because I do teach worldwide and I have kids from all around. And I do have... Ah, okay, so... You might have that error, so I just control. It's going to be the top, but we don't want that the top layer. I'll add another stick there. Um, you've got to order that to bring back. That way, when we work on the last sticks, now we have built his hat. And I did two sticks because it just wasn't enough. Okay. Now I've got that, and then we're going to add the eyes. Um, you pick out the eyes that you like and then you can just click the snowman it'll bring it back to your project but right now because I'm not in the present mode oh it's not bringing me back to my project because I just did this but for the kids this slide won't be there and then they can just press it and then like when they press the nose it'll go right to the nose I like this nose the best. And I'm just going to go back into mine. <laughs> I think I put the eyes as well on the wrong one. Got to get back to my slide. My slide is here. Okay. I would have you choose one slide group to give them, otherwise they're going to be going back and forth like me, and then you choose your mouth, and mine is here, and finally, you know, once, oh, you still have the buttons, oh, I forgot the arms, all right, I got to add a button for the arms. So let's add his arms. 
after. And then I will get my arms. I'm so happy I did this with you guys. That way I noticed that my arm was missing. And just like the snow globe, it's all their choice so they can be as creative as they like. I try to limit the choices because I think too many choices confuse people. Um, and then there is a music library. They can then choose which video they like. And um, I'm going to choose the freeze dance. And I'm going to just copy that link. You can put it in as copy paste, but I like to copy the link and as an insert it as a video. All the videos are there. Okay, and then I will put it over here. And if you want, they can write something about it or they don't have to. Let me shut this off so you can hear the present mode and then we will present and it's a really cute dance for them i'm a happy snowman white and fat here are my buttons here is oh. so it's just a cute little song this one's actually um where are my it's getting cold again so that's just basically the idea. I have to add the arms and then I'm going to post it. If you have any questions, just contact me. Have a wonderful day.